Now to the hospital staffing shortages that are putting the squeeze on emergency rooms in many parts of this country. Manitoba's largest hospital emergency room is facing challenges this weekend, asking staff to work overtime and getting more nurses to come in. The CBC's Riley Lechuk joins us from Winnipeg. Riley, what can you tell us? Well, Natalie, uh, some pretty stark numbers coming from the Manitoba Nurses Union today when it comes to the Health Sciences Centre. This is the province's largest hospital located here in Winnipeg, uh, the largest uh, trauma centre uh, that brings patients in from really right across Manitoba. So uh, what we're hearing from the Nurses Union is generally a shift in the ER has 24 nurses on a shift. Last night, though, they only had eight nurses on a shift in the emergency department last night. Uh, so uh, they say that nurses have been mandated to work overtime. Uh, they're going without breaks. Uh, and uh, really, it's just uh, causing a lot of strain on the healthcare system here in Manitoba. And what are health officials saying in the province about this? Yeah, so uh, Shared Health, which is uh, the province's health authority here, says that uh, they are trying to work their way through this. They say that there have been uh, some critical staffing shortages this summer, particularly on weekends and particularly on weekend evening and overnight shifts. They say they're trying to combat this by uh, by making nurses work overtime. They're bringing in uh, part-time and casual staff when they can, uh, pulling in staff from other parts of the healthcare system, reassigning in some cases nurses that are working on critical care wards to work in the emergency departments. Now, uh, this is something that we have asked uh, Health Minister Audrey Gordon about. Uh, we, we have heard that there are nurses that are willing to come uh, work in Manitoba, but they're facing obstacles uh, when it comes to getting licensed to work in Manitoba, particularly international nurses, but even nurses that are coming from other provinces wanting to come work in Manitoba, facing obstacles when it comes to the licensing process. Uh, in an interview we did with Health Minister Audrey Gordon last week, she said that something she wants to fix, uh, which could include uh, allowing internationally trained nurses to work in hospitals with supervision uh, before they're fully licensed here. We have a nursing crisis and a staffing crisis in the health system and we have become quite concerned. I've become quite concerned about the pace of the change and the licensing of nurses uh, here in Manitoba. And so not an immediate solution, uh, but as for this weekend, Shared Health says that uh, people that are going to the ER, particularly at the Health Sciences Centre here in Winnipeg, should expect long wait times. Uh, Shared Health says that the most critically injured and patients needing the most critically emergent care will be seen, uh, but those that aren't with less serious concerns uh, may face uh, fairly long waits this weekend in ERs. Natalie? The ZBC's Riley Lechuk in Winnipeg.